What do you tell to everyone's father who doesn't know much about you? <laughs> what about the mothers, dude? <laughs> what happened to the mothers? <laughs> uh, I mean, stay tuned. Watch the pre press conferences. Watch the content made around this event. You'll see it's a big, it's a big deal. You got two guys, you got two guys, two villains with the biggest egos in the world, the biggest pride in the world, massive followings, just inflated, inflated for the past five years with subscribers, money, clout, fame. And they're gonna beat the shit out of each other and they actually know how to fight. I've been boxing for the past two years. This is not a gimmick anymore. I'm not, I'm not joking around. I'm, not a, I'm, not, I'm no longer a YouTuber right now. I'm a fucking professional fighter. And I'm going to treat it like that. So you can be professional fighter. You saw what Anthony Joshua said about the rematch. Yeah, he said it was good, right? He said it was good. Yeah, he said, I mean, he's right. He's, I, don't, I haven't seen one professional fighter uh, talk shit about this. I think everyone's excited to, to merge worlds, boxing and, and, and content, internet content. And that kind of makes you feel good. It's got to. For sure. For sure. Yeah, it makes me feel good, but... Uh, to be honest, I'm not, I'm not seeking approval from, from anyone. You know what I'm saying? I've, I've passed that point in my life where I need validation from, from other people. I don't care who you are. Right. I know this event's going to be great. He has a big rematch, too. Who yeah. That who do I have on Anthony versus Andy? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you can say it. You can say it. It's okay. It's okay. I'll see you down I, there. Hey, I heard, I heard Anthony's training with KSI, so I got to go with Andy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 Andy works with Eddie, dog. <laughs> it's unfair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you think that you'd like to shift in encouraging your other content creators to settle their disputes in the ring and maybe step <clears> into a promoter type of function amongst YouTubers who are beefing online? Hey, that's a great question. Uh, no, no. I think this is, uh, if I'm being honest with you, I think this is one of the most dangerous things that uh, creators can do. If you think about it, we, we are stepping outside of the realm of internet content creation and entering the realm of professional boxing. People die in this sport. This is a dangerous sport. I'm not gonna go to war without my weapons. And to get those weapons takes years of training, dedication, passion. And I don't think, I don't think the average person, I don't think the average creator can do that. And maybe, maybe yeah, maybe a few screws are missing. Why would I do this? I got, I got a few reasons. But yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think it's the best way to, to settle your disputes. I just happen to hate the kid. What are those reasons? Me? Yeah. To me, this is a shot of redemption. This is, this is a second chance. What's gonna be different this outcome? The outcome's gonna be different. Last the outcome's gonna be way different. I will not leave it to the judges. I won't. Any alley predictions? Like second round, first round? Uh, I'll give it under two. Under two rounds? Two rounds, yeah. Absolutely. Shannon Briggs, my coach, he'll tell you first round. Okay. <laughs> he'll tell you first round. You gotta make coach happy. Yeah, Is hey, Soldier Boy confirmed? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't. I mean, bro. Let's, Jake would beat the shit out of Soldier. Hey, would you let Soldier Boy fight? Well, we gotta talk about. It. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> listen, hey, let's talk right listen. now. <laughs> let me tell you. Let me tell you what happened, right? So we made this fight. All the boxing fans said to me, "Fuck, like, what are you doing a YouTube fight for?" for, for? And then. I said no, and we got professional fights on the undercard, and then you came out and did your video, and now I'm getting all the YouTube fans going, Eddie, you prick, put a fucking other YouTube fight on. <laughs> yeah. So we got to talk, and I know the design guys want to chat as well. So yeah, cool. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll get this works. press conference done. It's in today. the works, bro. Okay. Logan, you talked about uh, you feel like this is redemption. Speak on that a little bit more. Yeah, so the Tokyo thing happened, and uh, KSI fortunately gave me a chance to step away from the internet, because let's be honest, this shit is toxic. This, it's not real life. And, and especially creating every day, you, you lose track of who you are. Look at me now in this interview and cut to a clip of me vlogging two years ago. Different kid, I don't even know that kid, I hate that kid. So I was unable to secure the win and secure the victory on the last, on the last fight, it was a draw, unfortunately. And so this, this, this last year and a half that we've been kind of away and there's, it's been dormant, I've been training because I'm taking this so seriously. It's funny, I, I, it's like I had a second chance before and now I'm getting a second chance at a second chance. How many second chances can you get? <laughs> KSI has also said he doesn't like you, and obviously that feeling yeah. is mutual, it seems like. He's also using the fact that you filmed the dead body a few <coughs> years ago as a way of kind of using that as his card. Yeah, to, for sure. It's smart. Uh, uh, what is, how would you like to make that clear from your position as to what happened on that occasion? I don't think you actually asked the question. So what would you like to say about when you were filming that body and for people who might not know about you and that's attached to you, what would you like to clear up? I mean, I, again, I, I, I'm, I'm not in the business of trying to uh, convince people to like me. 
I'm just, I just say, keep, keep your eyes on me now and watch what I do. Watch what I do. I'm a different person. I've changed and I'm going to show that this fight. You were training with Shannon Briggs. What, uh, you got any sparring partners you're working with uh, out there with Shannon? Yeah, we got a few. Any, any Obviously. Names you could drop? Huh? Any names you could drop? No, not yet. Not yet. I'm, I'm a spar Andy Ruiz though. <laughs> <laughs> Have you gotten hit with a punch from Briggs? Yeah, dude. Yo, it hits me in practice. Hey, anyone here been hit by a two-time heavyweight champ of the world? I mean, that, that I shit mean hurts. Too. That shit hurts. His arms are ni 90 pounds each. So yeah, it kills. It was part of it.